Hello, today I'm going through this new excellent post on Polkadot blog about XEM v3. I'll share why XEM is such a breakthrough technology for the Polkadot Eco, what the latest version 3 enables for builders and web3 users, and what will likely be Polkadot's new strong narratives for the next crypto cycle. I strongly recommend checking out some of these posts on Polkadot blog, because if you do, you will start to understand why Polkadot's ecosystem will, in the long term, provide the best infrastructure for the true Web3. The more I study Polkadot network, the more I see what a strong emphasis on true decentralization there is. Polkadot's cross-consensus message format, XEM, enables cross-chain communication between parachains, allowing them to securely exchange data and assets, and not only that, because XEM also allows to connect different smart contracts on different platforms and allows them to communicate. The first version of XEM has been integrated just less than a year ago, enabling parachains to open HRMP channels between them, that meant parachains could finally communicate with each other while still being fully secured by Polkadot shared security. Benefiting from Polkadot shared security is perhaps the biggest benefit of deploying as Polkadot's parachain, so full interoperability between all Polkadot's parachains without the need to use insecure bridges when transferring data and assets Sets, that's the end game here. According to Subscan, currently there is 100 open HRMP channels, and there is also 11 more channels that have been requested and will probably be open soon. The parachains with the most HRMP channels open are currently Moonbeam with 10, Astar with 9 reaching 10 soon, Akala also has 10, and Parallel Finance. Probably the greatest innovation that XEM technology brings is that it will end era of siloed networks, which means currently individual blockchains still mostly work as silos in isolation, meaning they are not interconnected in a secure way and still require insecure bridges to transfer assets. So this lacking interoperability made blockchains impractical for many needed use cases and is also causing major frictions in user experience when users need to transfer their assets from one chain to another. This slows down the adoption of the entire blockchain industry, but now we have XCM that fixes this interoperability problem. Polkadot's XCM will also remove a big problem for dApp builders, as they always need to very carefully consider on which network they will deploy their dApps. Why is that? Because choosing a wrong network, which does not allow for interoperability with other networks, represents a serious risk of locking their business and dApps into isolated platforms, and that would result in missing on opportunities to collaborate with other projects from other networks. So, XCM also fixes this, as over time all parachains together will be connected and interoperable. And what's more, XCM will enable powerful cross-chain integrations similar to integrations that we know from Web2, where applications can easily integrate services deployed by other teams. So this results in substantially growing network effect of these apps and powers user adoption. Personally, I believe one of the major positive impacts of XCM will be this exponentially growing network effect of the Polkadot ecosystem. Of course, not in months, it will likely take several years, but gradually, over time, Polkadot's network effect will immensely grow thanks to how frictionless it will be for businesses and dev teams to partner and collaborate across all parachains. The security when transferring assets across chains is undoubtedly the most crucial property of the famous blockchain trilemma, so it's very reassuring to see that XCM enables secure and trustless interoperability between Polkadot's parachains and devs on a level that hasn't been possible before. Currently, the best available tools for assets transferring across chains are centralized and insecure cross-chain bridges that are vulnerable to hacks and double spends, and only last year the assets worth of $2.5 billion were stolen from bridges, so again XCM should fix this once and for all. XCM will enable developers and businesses on different chains to mutually collaborate on projects built truly multi-chain dApps that are deployed across multiple chains, and even create multi-chain DAOs that span several different parachains. That means a dApp deployed on one chain can integrate the native asset from other chain, that's what we are already seeing with some DEXs on Moonbeam and Astar, and another example of that is Hydra's Omnipool, that has recently integrated Zeitgeist ZTG and Interlace IBTC tokens. 
and Zeitgeist is currently in the process of opening another HRMP channel to Moonbeam. So just imagine what a fantastic UX it will be once each dev in the Polkadot eco integrates each parachain's native asset. Now XEM v3 is the latest version of XEM, bringing several new important features compared to version 2. The biggest upgrade being that XEM v3 can be used over bridges to external ecosystems. So this will allow for XCM v3 to be used over trustless bridges to Kusama and Ethereum. Both bridges are currently in development. The bridge from Polkadot to Kusama will be deployed on a new common good parachain called BridgeHub. BridgeHub will be on both Polkadot and Kusama and will serve as a common good parachain dedicated to bridges. Trustless bridge from Polkadot to Ethereum called Snowbridge is also currently in development. Once launched, it will be another huge milestone for the ecosystem. This bridge is being developed by Parity in collaboration with developers team Snowfork. That's why this bridge is sometimes also called Snow no fork. XCM v3 will also enable cross-chain NFT functionality allowing for secure trustless cross-chain transfers of NFTs and also programmability will be improved. Thanks to improved programmability, XCM v3 will also enable remote locking allowing for the account on one chain to lock an asset on another chain. So remote locking will enable blockchains to control and utilize assets that exist on other chains. So the bottom line of this blog post is that with version 3, XCM technology is reaching its full functionality, enabling for the true multi-chain future that has been promised by many blockchains, but now it is Polkadot that has necessary tooling and infrastructure to finally bring this multi-chain future to life. As you could see, Polkadot's XCM is extremely powerful piece of technology, of which the benefits are still yet to be fully unfolded and appreciated. XCM v3, along with asynchronous backing, will be one of the biggest upgrades of Polkadot this year, and once both are integrated, Polkadot will have a very powerful infrastructure in place and will be ready to finally drive mass adoption. Just reminding that asynchronous backing will shorten the block time for parachains of currently 12 seconds to 6. Do you see how all these fundamental vital pieces of Polkadot's infrastructure now gradually come together? And not to mention OpenGov, which after several months of testing on Kusama, will be deployed on Polkadot within the next few months. Remember, each such a big technological upgrade as XCM and asynchronous backing will allow for new narratives and strong narratives are what drives user adoption and attracts skilled developers and also investors. XCM v3 allows for strong narratives such as Web3 interoperability and the multi-chain future finally unfolding, and asynchronous backing will also translate into some pretty powerful adoption-driving narratives such as unmatched scalability or Polkadot as world's fastest blockchain with TPS between 100,000 to 1 million transactions per second. Simply very exciting times ahead for the Polkadot ecosystem. Thank you for watching and liking and see you soon again.